Hello, this is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure an Avaya Aura Session Manager line, otherwise known as an SM line, on the Avaya B5800 branch gateway in release 6.1. Before we get started with the configuration, there's a few notables around the Avaya Aura Session Manager line on the B5800. In release 6.1, the Session Manager line will require configuration of branch prefix and associated local number length. Session Manager lines can detect their own system branch prefix on both incoming and outgoing calls in an effort to target that call on the local B5800 system. Furthermore, the B5800 can support redundant Session Managers by allowing us to add up to two Session Manager lines on the B5800 system. And while two Session Manager lines are supported on the system, there is not a concept of priority between them or the ability to fall back um, once a Session Manager line has returned to service. Our first step in our configuration efforts is to check on the PLDS licensing on the B5800 and make sure we have valid SIP trunk session licenses available. SIP trunk session licenses are required for the session manager line to be operational. With SIP trunk session licensing in mind, we're now going to head to the system telephony tab and we're going to match up the available SIP trunk sessions with the maximum SIP sessions allowed on the system. It's now time to set the ever important branch prefix under the system tab. In this example, I'm going to enter 501 to give this branch a three-digit branch prefix, followed up with a four-digit local number length, giving this branch effectively a seven-digit dial plan. We will then leave the proactive and reactive settings at the default 60 seconds for the Session Manager line, and click OK. It's time to add a Session Manager line to the system, so under Line, We'll right click, select New Session Manager Line, and select Session Manager Line. When the line form appears, you'll note that we are automatically set for line number 17, which is above the potential physical ports on the B5800. So that's a default setting. And then we are by default set for in service. Then we will enter a SIP domain that's appropriate to the configuration based on the Session Manager SIP domain that's available and then we'll give it a session manager address which is the entity link address of the actual session manager um, security asset module. Please note that the outgoing group ID is hard coded at five nines. The line prefix is an optional setting and max calls is also optional but cannot exceed your SIP trunk licensing. Um, what we'll do in this case is give it a value of 10 with an effort to maybe load balance between two session manager lines. The protocol used for layer 4 and the send and, re and listen ports are hard coded in release 6.1 to TCP 5060. TLS is not supported in 6.1. It's time to now head to the VoIP subform under the session manager line. Here we can adjust codecs among many other things. You have the option under advanced tab as you see me doing here to select individual codecs that you want to be um, active on the system. Um, that's one option for you. And if you were to leave this advanced settings, um, you'll get a message there saying that we're going to default back to automatic selection. Under automatic selection, you can also pin down on a specific codec as well but we do recommend that we leave the codex in play and let the system automatically select the codec to be used. Our next configurables are call initiation timeout which we'll leave as a default for to match session manager and we'll set the DTMF support to RFC 2833. Our last selections are to select reinvite supported to allow us to select allow for direct media path Allow Direct Media Path is a B5800 version of shuffling which allows media streams to set up directly between VoIP endpoints. Our selections are finalized and we'll click OK to submit the form. Now that we have our first session manager line configured, we do have the option to add the second session manager line to support redundant session managers. 
done the same way through session manager line add and you see the system is automatically set it at line number 18 and we would follow the same process as before to add the second session manager line to the system now that we have our session manager line configured on the B1500 let's again pay special note to the SIP domain and it's time to go to system LAN 1 and set up our um, user agent server side of the B1500. We'll make sure that SIP trunks are enabled and the registrar is enabled and then we'll head to the SIP registrar. Now it's under the SIP registrar form that we will match up yet again the SIP domain suitable for the session manager line, the session manager, and now this B5800 acting as a user agent server. We have the option um, as B5800 can accept requests on UDP or TCP, both on 5060. TLS again not supported on B5800 release 6.1. And we will uncheck the tick box to auto create SIP extensions on the B58 system. We'll click OK to finalize the form. This completes our configuration task for adding a session manager line to the B5800 system. Our final step here is to commit the changes that we've made. So we'll hit the save icon on the toolbar and we'll send this configuration up to the B5800 unit. The configuration changes were pretty intense, adding session manager lines and whatnot, so it will require an immediate reboot of the system. We'll enter the proper um, account and password and we'll send this configuration up to the B5800 core unit. Let's take a look now together at System Monitor, otherwise known as Sysmon, under Filter Trace Options. Now that we have the Session Manager line set up, let's go under the SIP form, and let's select SIP Events and set the SIP Event category to Low, or the Logging Level, I should say, to Low. And then you'll notice by default, we also have SIP Receives and Transmits already selected. We'll click OK to this form, and now we'll be able to trace SIP events properly on the B5800 system if the need arises. As set earlier on the system page of the B5800 configuration, we set proactive and reactive SIP options monitoring of the session manager line to 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, the session manager line will send a options uh, message to the session manager and session manager will return a 200 OK SIP options response if it is in fact able to do so. So to recap, it's through the sending and receiving of these SIP options messages that the B1500 can monitor session manager and determine whether or not to keep the session manager lines in service for the B1500 system. One last note around the Avaya or a session manager line on the B1500. For more information pertaining to implementation and configuration of the Avaya B1500 branch gateway, please visit us at support.avaya.com. There you'll find the Implementing Avaya B1500 branch gateway guide. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.